This thing's turning out absolutely incredible. But today, we're moving back to the industrial area to get some work done. And uh, what we're going to make today is a drag strip. This was commented on the last video, and I think it would fit pretty good in this area. I feel like any actual drag strip probably isn't in the public, like over here or the city. It would be in an industrial area. Now, I was thinking on how I wanted to do this. Of course, it needs to be pretty long. And I think I'm going to put it right here, but move this road, just this section of road uh over so there's just this weird corner down here that will be left and over here will all be a straight drag strip so we need to first off unlock the sidewalks and then we're gonna grab these two and this piece of road um actually let me just duplicate this piece of road and move it over here we're gonna make the drag strip stop right here make this way smaller and just line it up with this road here and this road here now we can go ahead and line it up like so get rid of these two sidewalks duplicate this and throw it over here as well and now just to save on parts we are going to delete this sidewalk and this sidewalk and then we're just going to make these two longer so you know deleted two parts in the game building tools this lets us scale both sides at the same time and let's just line those up there we go now we should probably add sidewalks to this little piece here uh i'm wondering if we should actually put this in line with this road so it is just connecting because i don't know if this would just be like kind of weird so yeah i guess we're gonna line up with this road and that's still plenty long for a drag strip now we'll just fix these sidewalks and i wanted to bring this up i think it'd be pretty cool oh wait let me do it from the other side it will be a lot uh a lot easier i think it'd be pretty cool if we made a plugin that automatically gets rid of terrain that intersects with parts because we already have one from robo crafter that gets rid of any grass that is going over or under i guess uh parts so as you can see right here grass is going over our road if we grab these three parts go up to our plugins plugins by robocrafter and grass fixer we could click fix selected parts and as you can see the grass is now gone so i think it'd be really cool if we just had that but for terrain so underneath all of these roads wouldn't be solid terrain instead it would form i guess tunnels in a way and that'd be really cool i also think i want to make something underground like a whole sewer system or something that you can ride your motorcycles and bikes through i think that'd be super Super cool but um i just don't know if it'll be uh actually implemented or not we'll have to see but let's get this road all fixed up and perfect i don't know if we went did we go no okay right here then bring this one over this in and there we go we have this awkward land piece right here but that's all right right here is going to be our drag strip and this should be pretty easy i do have a reference photo pulled up just like this so what we need to build is these concrete barricades we'll probably make those in blender and then we just have sort of concrete 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 and then two uh we'll say asphalts so have a little bit of road variation and definitely make them quite marked up from burnouts and everything like that so i guess the first things we need to do is duplicate this move it over to have something like this and i think we should reverse how they're doing it so right here we are going to change this from asphalt to concrete and make it quite a bit lighter of a color i don't want it to match the uh the sidewalk either though so it's going to be pretty bright i guess we're going to duplicate that and throw it on the other side and now i'm gonna bring one across the whole thing and then hold control so we get the perfect center just like that now i do need to grab all of them and shrink them down we're gonna use f3x once again just because we could scale all three at the same time let's shrink those down to about here and now we are going to grab this one duplicate it drag it down a little bit back up hopefully that works guess not we're just gonna use extra parts i guess so let's line these up that one right there that right there i know oh, one more change the color to a bit darker something like that for now we might uh invert these again i'm not exactly sure how i want to do it but something like this is the start to the drag strip i'm gonna nail out my actual road idea real quick and then i'll be back because i'm not sure exactly how i want to do it all right guys it's time to pop open a blender file and start making the street barriers because those are going to be quite important for this build uh i'd imagine we can uh we can kind of cheat code it and stretch them out so i'm not gonna make any rounded edges uh uh, I'm also, I probably shouldn't open my, <laughs> I'm sorry, Buster. I'm sorry. I, I tried. <laughs> All right, let's open up a new Blender file. And uh, of course, we have to make it fit our screen because, you know, 
recording on an ultra wide monitor is probably not exactly the best idea, but it works. We we'll put that right there. Put this. Wait, why did it? Why did it? Oh my gosh. All right. So to make these little barriers, I have to be careful not to uh, round off edges because it, it probably won't stretch that well. So first things first, we're going to do S and Y to scale it in this way. And then we're going to grab just the top face here. S and Y once again, scale it in this way. And now I think we could either loop cut and extrude these two faces here and here. Uh, we'll try that first. So extrude along face normals. Um, hold on. Let's do extrude individual faces. Yeah, that's going to be a little weird. Now it's very important that I did not scale on any other axis, but the Y and I'll show you guys why <laughs> once we get into Roblox studio, I think something like this is okay. Probably should be a little bit thinner. So we're going to scale all of it down on the Y axis. Something like this. That looks all right. Now let's shade smooth and auto smooth. And that just gets rid of this line right here, which it might look better without getting rid of that line. Yeah. All right. Now we have in Roblox. So we're just going to insert with location, grab this from underneath our road. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little big, but no problem. No problem. We could definitely get this scaled. I think I want it to be a little bit smaller than the bikes themselves. So all the way down to something like this, uh, a little bit bigger. We'll say something like that. I think is a, is a pretty decent size. Maybe squish it a little bit. We'll go with this. And now since we did only scale on the Y axis, I'm going to be able to just stretch this as far as I want. And it's not going to get any bit distorted or anything like that. So I'm going to go all the way to here on the first one. And let's start it in a little bit. I think something like that will work. going to bring it up a little or down. Let's see. I guess right there will work. And we're going to have these one here, one in the center of the other side like this. And then I'm going to move one to the middle and move this up to about here. Now I'm going to duplicate these two. And this is just so we can have color variation uh, within our walls. So we'll put those right there and then grab our building tools by F3X to scale them all the way down. I'm almost wondering how we should end this. Maybe we'll end it with like a mega ramp. So you could just ramp up here onto like these roads or something. I, I don't know, man. But for now, this is okay. Let's get them colored. I am going to color them based off of the reference photo. So we're going to go right here, pick screen color, and then I'm just going to go hover over uh, the colors they have. This is a very, very white color. We'll go something like this. And then down here, uh, they definitely do change. So let's grab that color as well. There we go. And uh, we need to copy this color right here. Ghost gray. Nice. Now we're going to grab all of these and make them concrete, which will just help with the realism, man. No, not brick color. Material. Yes. I just messed it up, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Material, concrete, and we need to change our drag strips from concrete to uh what was it asphalt there we go and as you can see that just uh that really divides everything up Ooh, we got to fix the z fighting there we go and uh after this it's really just going to be adding like wear and tear and road lines stuff like that uh we're gonna add one road line up here let's make this pretty thin scale it all the way up to here and then we're just gonna bring it one above just like that and this could be like a yellow orange we'll go something like that i guess all right so i've added a bunch of like damage to the roads. All of these are all different decals. I've added these little grates, which may or may not be a good idea. I like them because it does, uh, it kind of divides the roads. Like before it was this very harsh line and I like the grate here, but um, if we're going for the realistic side of things on a drag strip, I don't know if it's the best idea. They could slip if it's wet, uh, but but I don't know if it's actually like that deep, if, if it matters that much. So we're going to leave them in for now. I really do like how this turned out. We have a bunch of just like good damage on the roads and I made it progressively get less damaged. If I go from real life references, right here's the darkest because people burn out their tires to heat them up and everything like that and then it progressively gets less and less damaged. We could still add the white lines uh, towards the end if we wanted to. I don't know if, uh, if we really have a long enough strip to do that, but as you can see, very damaged, still pretty damaged but when you get down to here, the damage is like almost unnoticeable and then when you get all the way down, it is gone. Uh, we may add ramps later on here and here just to, you know, have somewhere to go after you have all this speed. I think I do want to take one of our parking blocks and rotate it just to cap off the uh, this spot right down here, the centerpiece anyways. Uh, and that, that might be pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I really like how it turned out. In fact, let me anchor it real quick. All this stuff. Let's drop it anchored. Let's put uh, our motorcycles don't work just yet. So we're still on 
the bike for now. Uh, you know, hey, we're gonna spawn right here and test this out on the bike. Boom, play here. Guys, I'm so excited for this game and I'm very happy that you guys are liking the series as well. Most of the time when I upload these, it's a one out of 10 on YouTube, which means it's performing the best out of your recent uploads. So I'm really excited that you guys are liking the build, liking the game, and I hope I could do it justice. And when the game comes out, all of you guys are satisfied with it. I am just extremely excited that this is uh this is going as well as it is so far so check it out here's the drag strip guys we'll actually uh i can't say 100 percent, but hopefully we oh, i gotta fix that z fighting hopefully we'll get it to where you can actually drag race your friends with like bets and stuff that would be pretty cool but i think that is gonna wrap up the video for today if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later